Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks. No, we're not. We are back in Sprocket yet again. And today we are going to be designing something that uh, I'm going to take inspiration from Star Wars for. Which is kind of strange. Um, I've never actually seen it in Star Wars itself. But we're going to go ahead and uh, try and design something and see if you guys know what it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and start building, shall we? Alright, so let's go ahead and start building straight away. Essentially, what we need to do is go to compartments, go to this guy, and flatten it down. Here we go, yes. We're then going to go ahead and extend it out sideways, because it is actually quite a wide vehicle. Um, and essentially bring it to there, that's fine. We're then going to go ahead and angle the front backwards, just like so. And we're going to do the same thing at the rear, but the opposite, if that makes sense. So it goes inwards, there we go. Okay, that's, um, <laughs> that's alright, okay good. So, the next thing that we need to do is actually extend this guy upwards. Uh, this bit on the front is going to come backwards actually quite far, just like, like that, there we go. We're actually going to go ahead and extend this guy upwards a little bit more than that as well. And we're going to go ahead and split it too. So, uh, go ahead and split this guy there, extend this guy upwards into the sky, grab this guy on the back, bring it forwards just like so, grab this guy, make it go upwards into the sky, Grab this guy again, bring it backwards, and essentially leave it like that. It's kind of weird, but hopefully it works. Okie dokie, so now it is my job to uh, design uh, a way around this. So we're going to extend these guys over the edge, uh, which means that actually this guy is also going to get extended, I do believe. So that's going to go like this, there we go, awesome. Um, and yes, that is very wide, but that's okay. We're going to bring it out quite far, and then we're going to have to like send it down. So get it all the way to the edge, extend it. Grab this guy and this guy and extend it downwards, and that's going to be okay, I feel. I think that might be fine. So bring that down to, I don't actually know where, probably around there. Grab this guy at the front, this one and this one, send it backwards till it's matching with that one, and do the same at this side. Yes! Okay, somewhat like that. What does that look like? A uh, little bit strange, but I think it'll work. Okay, so I've gone ahead and actually made it a little bit shorter, which is fine. We're now going to go to mobility, go to tracks, and we're going to try and sort these guys out, which um, might be kind of difficult, actually, but we'll see. So, first thing that I want to do is go to track segments, make it look like this, because it's a little bit more modern. Yes. Separation, we're going to go ahead and bring inwards just a little bit, and we're going to make the tracks wider to actually fit there. There we go. We're also going to make them thicker as well, because I feel like we should, and that is A-OK. -okay. Alright, so with that being said, go back to compartments, uh, don't merge it, no, select all of it, there we go, raise it up so that it's no longer going all crazy and stuff, and that'll be fine. Okay, so, all of the tracks and stuff actually need to be way smaller, so let's go to road wheels, yes, diameter of those, really small, oh my goodness, okay, quite small, there we go, uh, we're going to actually lower everything else down as well, so this guy's going to come down to there. Um, the return rollers, maybe we don't need those. In fact, we don't need those. We're going to go ahead and bring this guy inwards a little bit too, and leave it there. And that's actually A-OK. -okay. It's kind of, it's kind of what we want. Let's lower this down as well. Um, make the idler itself a little bit smaller in diameter. There we go. And, uh, the sprocket actually is going to come down too. And then we're going to make everything come down. And hopefully... Hopefully that'll fit and work and stuff and do things that we need it to. Okay, back to mobility, drop this down a little bit more, and that's it. That should be good. Yeah, okay. Um, the only thing that I want to change about this is the separation on this, the spacing, is going to be a little bit bigger, and that looks alright. Okay, so let's go back through these and make sure we have the things that we want. So the idler wheel is going to be one of these guys. Okay, uh, we're going to use... Actually, we're going to use those guys down there. It's not something that I generally use, but sure. Uh, we're going to go with these guys on that as well, and that's all fine. Okay, goodness, this is kind of cool. All right, so um, what I want to do is grab, not that, is grab these, bring them up forwards, and now that should be fine. Yeah, it's very odd, but hopefully it works out. Okay, so, uh, what is the next thing that we need to do then? We need to go to faces, yes, let's go ahead and extend both of these guys upwards into the sky, just like so. Um, and essentially they're gonna be, they're gonna be fine, but, yeah. So, we're gonna go ahead and grab these two, and, uh, no, sorry, that, why can't I grab that one? I wanna grab this guy, and this guy, and I'm gonna angle it this way, okie dokie. 
We're gonna grab this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, and we're gonna do this. And we're gonna leave the back end just like so. Good. It is a very chunky boy at the moment. It is actually very wide. I'm uh, not sure what I'm gonna do about that, but sure, it's fine. So, essentially, this is it for the, um, for the body. We're gonna leave it just like this. So, the next step is to actually add vents on the back. It is gonna be full of vents back here, and that is essentially it. So, let's go ahead and smash in a bunch of these. Hopefully we can make it all look nice and stuff. In fact, actually, it might be better off us doing it this way around. Making it a little bit smaller. Pushing them together just like this. Keeping it going. There we go, keeping it going. Keeping it going, a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so the whole back side is gonna be vents. Might be a little bit odd doing this, but that's fine. And we're gonna lower them down into there a little bit too. Yes. Okay. Very weird. Alright, so I didn't actually think about the exhaust very much uh, during the building process of this, but I think we're just gonna go ahead and whack those on the back like so. Uh, I might actually even push those inwards a little bit too, uh, just so that they're in there. And uh, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Okay, so now that we got this designed, let's go to actually add some more stuff. So, uh, we need hatches on the roof. Uh, we'll actually go with one of these. Uh, that will go on this side over here, yes. A commander's cupola is gonna go on this side over here. Uh, and that is gonna be squidged down. Uh, sort of. So we're gonna do this. I actually kinda wanna add two of those. So we're gonna use both of these instead. Just like that, and that is fine. The next thing that I want is actually a gun. Uh, probably actually for each of those. Yeah, sure, let's do it. And there we go. Nice. Okie dokie. So driver's seat is probably the next thing that I want to do. However, we are going to attach these guys onto here like this. There we go. We're going to go ahead and stretch them to make them a little bit bigger. Squidge them to make them a little bit smaller. I know that's that's a bit different to each other, but there you go. And smash those on the front. Viewports. Um, we are actually going to go ahead and smash these on. We're going to make them wider like so. And hopefully we can put them in the right place. So, put them there for now. We're going to have to bring them down. Like so. There we go. And bring them forwards into the hatches. And that looks awesome, actually. That doesn't look too bad at all. But now that means we should be able to drive. Here we go. Alright, this is one of the strangest vehicles I've built so far. But, yes, it does drive. Okay, so where do we go from there? Well, I kind of wanted to add a main gun on the front, but we're not going to do that. We're going to work it out a little bit differently. So, if we can, let's go to turrets. Go ahead and smash one of these on the side. Um, I don't know which side of this is the front, so we need to work that out. Mantlet. Yeah, this side. That side's the front. So if we go to compartments, and we flip this around like this. There we go. That is excellent. Diameter of this, very smaller. Uh, and we need to fit all of these things into place as well in order for this to work, but we can squidge it down like this There we go. We're gonna go ahead and squidge this guy backwards like so as well There we go back to there and we're gonna squidge this guy on this side this way just like so Okay, so if I can extend this and we can squidge it as we go. This should be fine. There we go Okay, extend it again and squidge it again There we go and extend it again and again, we will squidge it. Yes. Okay, push this forwards. Into there, that's fine. And now we need to do this side as well. Which, um, is fine. We could totally do this. So, squidge it down. Squidging. There we go. Squidging has happened. Extend it again. Squidge it again. There we go. And one more time. Squidger. Squidge. <laughs> Squidger, squidge. There we go. Okay, move this backwards till it fits. And that is fine. Okay, so... Clearly this is a bit too big at the moment, but if we grab all of it, and we squidge it down this way, we can actually have turrets on the side of the tank, which is exactly where I want them to be. Okay, let's go ahead and smooth them out so it is actually round, and that's a-okay. It looks very weird, but it's where I want it, so good. Alright, so now we need to worry about firepower. We're gonna actually use these guys like this, there we go, attach those onto the front like so. And that actually looks really good. I quite like that. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to move it from side to side. So the tank itself is going to have to do that job. Um, no, actually, no. This can aim up and down. This is fine. Okie dokie. Next thing then, crew hatches. We're going to go ahead and slap this guy on here like this. It's going to go this way around. And that is mighty fine. Uh, anything else that needs adding, we should add now. So what would we need? What, what do we actually need? Structural... 
Uh, no, riveted panels, no, it is these guys. Alright, so, we're going to attach these guys to here. And we're going to do the exact same thing on the rear. Just like so. Okay, good. And that's fine. I think we just leave them like that. Okay, so now that we've got that done then, let's go ahead and save this turret as um, Star Wars side turret thingy. There we go. That's good descriptive name. We're now going to go to this guy. We're going to go to the other side. Whack it on here. We're going to load up Star Wars side turret thingy. There we go. We're going to go ahead and angle it forwards so that it fits in. And that is A-OK. -okay. Alright, so what is the best way or the easiest way to get these into the exact same location? I think it is to bring it to the top. Alright, so it is level with the top. Bring it backwards so that it is level with the back. There we go. Okay, good. We're then going to do the same thing on this one. So bring it to the top. Uh, about there-ish. Yep, yeah, there we go. Bring it backwards till it's at the back. Uh, I don't know whereabouts, but about there. And then, can I select two turrets at once? I don't think I can. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> that's very annoying. Okay, right. We're going to extend this one forwards to about there. And we're going to do the other one as well. Extend it forwards until it's in line with the commander's cupola. There we go. We're then going to drop it a little bit. There we go. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Just drop it a tiny bit. Like this. And that should be fine. Okay. I'm happy with that. Okay. Next idea for me is to get some of these panels. We're going to go ahead and dab these like everywhere. Because I feel like we need to. So let's go ahead and smash those on the front. Uh, we'll go ahead and continue them this way. Uh, like this. There we go. And we'll actually continue them across if we can. Because that makes sense too, I think. So do these guys, just like so. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. One thing that I might do, actually, is squidge them to make these two fit in the right place in the middle at the front. Yes. And that's okay. Good. Okay, so there are a few more things that I would like to add. I'm going to go ahead and add these guys to here. We're going to squidge them down. Yes. And we're going to go ahead and make them a lot longer as well, just so that we can fit them in. And then we're going to try and fit them into the right places, just like so. One could go there. And then we can extend it and do the same thing again. Like so. And then I might, maybe, possibly, uh, add some fuel tanks. Maybe? So we can actually add these guys down the sides. We'll add one there and we'll add one just behind it. Just like so. And I don't think they're out of place there at all. Yeah. Okay, so the next thing that I don't mind doing is adding a fender. Yes. We're going to go ahead and bring down the height so it is a little bit lower. Uh, about there. We're going to go ahead and get the front offset and bring it actually out to the front. And we're going to angle these guys uh, downwards like this. There you go. That might look a little bit strange, but I quite I, I quite like the idea of having it. Um, so we will. The rear is also going to have these guys. Adds a little bit of extra detail. And that is, that is A-OK. -okay. Alright, is there anything else that we really need? I feel like adding some of these boxes to the front. If we attach those to there. And then we squidge them down. They might not actually look terrible. There we go. And uh, I actually really like the idea of adding some vents to the front. Uh, even though clearly that's a bad idea. I don't know. Alright, okay. If I can, I might even add these. There we go. If I can fit them in a nice place, that might be great. Let's do that. There we go. Uh, push it. Push it there. I don't know, actually. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this thing. Um... Maybe leave it there like this. Bring it sideways slightly, and then we'll just actually bring it back up. There we go. We'll leave it like that. All right. It's a bit odd, but that's fine. Okay. Cool. We might even add more. Yeah, because the the amount of detail this adds, even though it's very ex like extremely simple, uh, is actually really cool. So we're gonna make them a lot bigger, and we're gonna leave them right here like this. There we go. And then we'll grab them. We'll actually bring them down. So that they fit inside, and then stretch them so they're taller. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot of detail, even though it's very simple. Okay, let's move on to the next thing that I always do, or maybe always do. Um, I actually have these guys to the front very often, and the reason for it is because I think it looks great. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and squidge those in. We're going to go ahead and make them a lot wider, and I'm going to actually have these ones overlap. I've never really done that before, but I quite like the idea of it on this one. So we're going to go ahead and push these guys in. 
We're gonna push it down real quick so it's central. We're then gonna make these guys bigger. And that is fine. Yes. That's cool. Okie dokie. So the next few things that I want to add are actually these guys uh, down the side. Essentially, I'm going to go ahead and add them right next to each other. And uh, these are just... I, I know they're not used for this, but we're going to go ahead and make them all a little bit longer like so. We're going to squidge them all a little bit too. And we're going to move them down into the place where I wanted them. Right there. Uh, honestly, I think they look pretty good. So we're going to have them like that. Uh, I might even merge them in with each other. That doesn't look too bad. That doesn't actually look too... Too bad. Undo that. Grab every single one of these. Squidge them a little tiny bit. And then we can move them backwards. In order to try and make them fit. Oh, I don't know. Squidge them a little bit more. There we go. And now try and make them fit. Yeah, to there. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, they look a bit odd, but... I think the one in the middle might actually be different. <laughs> it might actually be different to the rest of them. I'm almost certain it is, actually, but yeah, sure. We'll leave it like that. Okay, I'm also going to go ahead and put one of these hatches on the side. Uh, right about... Uh, right about there, there we go. And extend it to make it a lot bigger. Uh, do this as well, and also shrink it. There we go. Okay. Looks a bit odd, but we're going to leave it there anyway, because we can. So, now what we need to do is go to livery. Let's go ahead and make it a certain color. Probably like this. Yeah. Hue, I don't really know. More like blue. More like a blue hue. Not quite like that, though. Yeah, okay. Saturation, low. Kind of like this, honestly. I, I'm pretty sure this is fine. Okay, so what else do we add to this? Spare tracks are something that does sometimes look very, very cool. So let's go ahead and attach these to here. Let's go ahead and flip them over, if we can. Here we go. So grab it there, flip it all the way around to there. Okay, bring it upwards. So that they are actually there and visible. Go to this guy. Maybe we can extend it. Or we could just do this. There. Yeah, okay. I love that. We're going to keep that like that. Okie dokie. So, uh, one of the last things that we actually need to do then is um, actually add more crew. So, we need um, a gunner loader. So, we're going to do a gunner loader. And we're going to do a gunner loader on the other side. And that should be fine. So, if this fires... Uh, is that right? So it loads that gun and it fires that gun. I think we need a camera, um, a gun sight port thingamabobby uh, on these in order for those to work. So let's go ahead and attach that to there. And we'll also attach another one to this side, clearly, to there. Okay, so the gunner is in there, the loader is in there. Okay, gunner loader is working on that side. Do this and do this. I'm confused as to what I need here. Okay, so those are working. We then need to do this and this. Hey, there we go. So we got a gunner loader in each one of those. Um, now all we need to do is go to each of these, make the basket space bigger so that we can actually fit crew in. And um, go to the other side, do the same thing. I don't know how much basket space we give the other one, but it must have been quite a lot. And uh, there, there we go. Okay, it's the same. And that should work. So if we can aim, we can shoot. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh, we don't have any rounds. But yeah, this will work. Okay, so if that is going to work, then we need some ammunition. Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. Uh, fit them in there if we can. I don't know how many rounds we're going to be able to fit. But essentially, we need a few. So let's go ahead and make them a little bit skinnier. Bring them into the turret. Okay, grab the same thing. Take it to the other side, the other turret. Whack them on here like this. Take them inside so that they do actually work. And that will be it. Nice. Alright, so aiming the guns themselves is actually um, a, a pretty difficult thing to do. But, uh, the tank actually moves. That is great. The guns themselves are there. Um, and it's an interesting looking vehicle. All I really wanted to do is build something unique. And uh, I think we've definitely done that. Anyway, engine. We're going to increase this to 10. We're going to increase this to 2. We're going to bring this down to 2, 400. Yeah, okay, and now we should be able to drive it, and it should be quite fast. Indeed it is. Okay, so I've modified the guns slightly, I give them a muzzle brake, and I also made the barrels a little bit longer, and the other thing is I made the, uh, the propellant length 250 instead of 75, because the guns weren't actually able to do very much previously. But now they can, so I'm happy with this. Yeah. 
All right, so finally then, I'm going to go ahead and add some armor to this thing, and then we'll test it out in a battle and see how well it does. Uh, before we do that, though, let's go ahead and give this thing a little bit more ammunition inside, just in case we need to reload it. That would be great. That would actually be a very good idea. So there we go. All right, so this thing isn't, like, incredibly armored at all. It is uh, 90 millimeters right there. Then it's got 90 millimeters all the way around the front. On the sides, it is 50. On the guns itself on the side are actually 80. Um, so there you go. We just need to be able to face the enemy, and we should be good. If we do go to mobility, we need to get rid of some of this fuel. We need to go down to 50 liters of fuel, and um, we should actually get some more armor because of that, actually. So we will. So on the side of here, we're going to go with... A little bit more. We're going to go with 80. There we go. 80 mil right there. Uh, if we want to, we could do the sides back here as well, I suppose. Uh, 80 right here as well. Bosh. And that should be fine. Okay. Excellent. Uh, is there anything that I'm missing on the front? I don't think there is. Nah, we're good. So, now that we've done that then, we can actually go to war. Unfortunately, I do have to change one more thing before we do that. Uh, we need to go to transmission. Is it transmission? Engine? I don't know. We need to go somewhere in order to fix this. Powertrain. Twin transmission. Twin transmission. That's what we need. Okay, excellent. Let's save this as Star Wars. Tank. Thing. <laughs> Star Wars tank thing. Let's go. Okie dokie. So we're back on railway. I actually really like doing railway. I don't know why. But anyway, what I want to do here is actually put this gun on two. And this gun on three, so that I can actually change between the guns. Otherwise, we won't be able to do that, and it'll be a pain in the butt. But anyway, let's drive in there and see what we can do. Okay, I'm going to stop around here somewhere. Okay, I've already been shot, and I think I might have already been tracked as well, actually. I can't see who shot me. I can't... I can't see who shot me. Have I been tracked? I haven't actually been tracked. I just, I just fell down to the side. Okay, so we need... To line up our guns nicely. And I need to fire correctly and then we'll be good. Okay, next is that guy. Let's try and shoot him. Alright, my guns might not actually be very good. It turns out they might be awful. Okay, I'm not quite getting through. I'm gonna keep shooting. Okay, I'm getting shot by everyone actually. That guy over there is shooting me. Whatever that guy is, is what is he doing? All right, we killed him. Okay, this guy's coming towards us. Let's try and shoot him. The uh, the gun sight on this tank is actually really, really awful. I can't see very much at all, but we're going to keep trying. Okay, let's reverse a little bit. I need to give myself enough time to, uh, to win this. So we're going to go ahead and turn. Shoot that guy. All right, he's dead. Excellent. That guy's died. Okay, very nice. This one needs to die. It's just, I can't seem to get through his armor. But he also doesn't seem to be able to get through mine, so that's good. There is five of us left, there is six enemies left. And there is one enemy up there that's trying to shoot me. So I'm going to change gun. Now press F2. Press F2. Okay, here we go, press F3. There we go, it's this gun on this side. Who is shooting me over here? I need a better gun sight. This is awful. <laughs> this is actually really bad. Okay, press F1. Oh, I just died. Yikes. All right, we need to get in there. Okay, so uh, we're going to do a sneaky mission. We're going to try and get around the back of these guys and hopefully shoot them in the side or the rear. Either or. That is fine by me. That guy just exploded. I'm pretty sure that was the one that I was struggling to destroy before. Um, there is someone trying to shoot me over here. Oh, I wish these gun sights were better. I can barely see a single thing. Uh, press F2. Press F2 and then F1. And then we might be able to do this. Okay, I don't think that actually shot at anything. <laughs> I don't think that worked. Is this guy alive? He is. Alright, aim higher. I'm gonna shoot that guy instead, actually. Eh. Die, please! Die! It's only shooting off one. Oh, no! It was only shooting off one side. I don't know why. Okay, so we're charging forwards again. Uh, okay, that guy is still alive. Okay, this is the one that we've been trying to kill all game. He is... Okay. Okay, we're all dead. All of, us, all of us are dead. I can't kill that one. It's really frustrating, because, like... Oh, this guy's out of ammo. Is this guy out of ammo? Oh, this guy's got loads. Okay. This is my final chance to win 
It's this tank that I'm in right now. And I can't... I can't do anything. Oh, yikes. Okay, that didn't work. Fire again. That didn't work. I can't get through this guy's armor. Keep firing! Oh, one of my gunners is dead. That's a problem. <laughs> that is a big problem. Yikes. Oh, that guy has been shot a lot, actually. Look at that. Okay, we're going in. We're going in. We're going to tank the shots because we... Oh, we're strong. We're a strong boy. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, and this guy doesn't have any ammo, so it's actually... It's out. It is out. Yikes. Okay, so as it turns out then, side-mounted turrets, actually not the best. Um, but there you go. Anyway, uh, this is just a quick video to try and design something like this. What we might do in the future is actually modify this into some sort of land ship. Add more turrets to it, actually add a turret on the top maybe, and maybe a main gun on the front, so it can do a lot of damage. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see that. But for now, thanks for watching, see you next time, goodbye.